Okay guys, today's video is just gonna be me talking to you because pretty busy day today. So I spent the night at Sean's house. I still slept in the Jeep, but I was in his driveway. I had, I was doing laundry at his house. Um, that was super useful because you go to a laundromat, you pay like 10 bucks just to do your laundry and you have to pay in quarters. So I got to do a lot of laundry for free. In the morning I spent folding laundry. That took probably two hours, you know, full of getting everything organized. After that, I filled up all my water containers with his hose. After I did all that, I drove down to Method Coffee and I edited tomorrow's video, got everything figured out. From there, I started heading down to Phoenix. Now I'm about 30 minutes away from Phoenix right now. Heading down here, getting a little sketchy. I started getting hungry. I haven't eaten all day and it's already five o'clock. I started noticing that my battery gauge was running a little bit low. Didn't think much of it because it typically does, but it seems like it's getting even lower as I go on. I'm about five minutes away from an O'Reilly's and I do have a warranty on my alternator if that is the problem. I really hope that it's just running low because I have so much charging right now with the new Jackery I'm trying to charge that. Although it does seem a bit odd that out of nowhere it would really be draining this much. I'm a little concerned that that is my primary issue. I hope it's not anything major but there is a possibility that my alternator needs replaced. And if that is the case, it's just one more thing you're going to have to fix probably gonna have to either do it today or in the morning so I might spend the night at an O'Reilly parking lot because I really don't want to be stranded somewhere with a dead battery and a dead alternator. This is all just like what it's like living on the road really especially with a 1990s vehicle. When I took this journey I knew that there was a possibility that I was gonna to get to a point where I was just going to need to make some money and initially my plan was to just get a temporary job you know live in the Jeep maybe camp at night and then go to like I don't know work at McDonald's or something initially that was the original plan it didn't seem like an issue at the time but now it's not as practical so when I planned to do all this stuff I really did not take into consideration having Kai with me especially because he's such a hyperactive dog I can't just leave him inside the Jeep while I work I looked into possibly getting a doggy daycare but the problem after that is you work ten dollars an hour you work for eight hours and you spend $30 a day on dog care, you're only really only making like $50 a day, if that. And at that point, you're better off just working your butt off all day at someone's yard and making a little bit of side cash like that. But the reality is I'm not really gonna be able to do this road trip unless I have a lot of supporters to be able to make a full-time living. I need it for gas, I need it for Kai's food, I need it more for my food, not to mention that I've had to spend the majority of money that I thought I had for food and gas lately has gone into repairs. And I really wouldn't be able to be, have done this if Sean hadn't helped me with the welds and everything. But still like yesterday when we dropped the fuel tank, it cost me probably $30 alone just to fix that. And $30 is almost a full tank of gas for me, which is a lot of driving. $30 could also be half a week's worth of food or maybe even a whole week's worth of food if I'm really being serious. I really am going to have to figure something out. might have to go get a job and just postpone the trip. Now I'm not saying all this to asking you guys for money. I appreciate all the support I get but I'm just trying to be practical here. I can't always live off of hope and hopes and dreams and I have no problem getting a job. However, I am worried about how the channel might suffer while I'm away from that job. My plan is to eventually get to a point that I can make enough money off of my supporters to be able to travel and vlog full time. But right now with only about 1300 subscribers, I might have to take a break eventually. Now I am currently trying to figure things out so I can find a way to travel, make money, vlog, and do all of this full time. I have a very strong passion to want to do all these things, so I'm trying to find unique ways that I can still make money off of it, but I just wanted to come on here today and tell you what's been going on in my mind right now, especially today while I've been driving. Um, not to mention the fact that I still am probably going to have to run to O'Reilly's now and if you can tell, sun's going down fast, it's already pretty much dark outside and I'm going to have to probably end it here. So, I'll give you guys updates in the morning, let you know what's going on with the Jeep and everything. Hopefully the alternator is just running, hopefully it's just taking a while to charge the battery and nothing to worry about. If that's the case, I'm still going to be able to make it to Cabela's today and then maybe meet up with Jen tomorrow. Maybe we'll go camping, I don't know. But in the next couple of days, I might be going to Midland, Texas. I might be staying at friends or family's house and I might have to get a job. 
I'm really very optimistic right now that things will work out in the end. I have a couple other things that might work out and I might be starting my own little on the road company, but we'll really see. Don't know right now, but I'm starving. I need to eat something. <sighs> see you guys later. I just